Hello, and welcome to this California Student Aid Commission training video. My name is Michael Lemus, and I am part of the Training and Outreach Unit here at the California Student Aid Commission. In this short training video, we are going to take a look at creating an account through the Web Grants for Students webpage. This training video will provide you with a quick, up-to-date look at creating an account through the Web Grants for Students webpage. It is intended for anyone who uses or will use Web Grants for Students or those who assist students in creating a Web Grants for Students account. This overview will give you an important first look at the Web Grants for Students interface. This is a Web Grants for Students webpage. This page can be reached by going to the California Student Aid Commission website and following the links or by going to migrantinfo.csac.ca.gov as indicated at the top of this page. From this page, students can access their account or easily create a new account. Web Grants for Students is accessible with most popular web browsers and with virtually all devices, including smartphones, tablets, laptops, and desktop computers. In order to gain access to Web Grants for Students, a student must register for an account. For FAFSA filers, students will need their social security number, their full legal name, and their date of birth as it's shown on the FAFSA to create a username. For California DREAM Act applicants, students will need their DREAM Act ID number, their full legal name, and their date of birth as it's shown on the California DREAM Act application. Please note, those with a DACA social security number should not enter in their DACA social security number when registering an account. Once that registration information is submitted, students will simply check their email and follow the instructions within that email to activate their account. Once the student checks their email, they will be prompted to create a password via the Create Password button. Once they click on this button, they will be able to create a new password. Please note that this link is only valid for 24 hours. Please also note the student must check the email they used on their FAFSA or California Dream Act application. Once the student has created their password, they are then asked to sign into the Web Grants for Students webpage. Students will need to wait up to five minutes before the initial login. As a security feature, Web Grants for Students has implemented two-factor authentication. After the student signs into their account, they will be prompted to enter in a two-factor authentication code. The student will then be emailed a one-time passcode to use during the sign-in process for every login. Please note the students will have only two minutes every time they sign in to enter this code. If they are unable to enter in the code within the two minute window, they will have to start this process over. It is in this screen that they will enter in their two-factor authentication code. The student should not close the window prior to entering in the one-time passcode. If the window is closed, the student will need to repeat this process. Right before attaining access to the student homepage, the student will also need to set up three security questions. Please note that students will not be able to change the answers to the security questions, so it is important they remember their answers and how they spelled these out and whether or not they used capital letters, special characters, etc. Students should store their security answers in a secured place as the California Student Aid Commission will not be able to access the answers. The Web Grants for Students webpage has the advantage of allowing the student to access most of their information on one single page. In the Web Grants for Students webpage, once the student is signed in, they will see four tabs at the top of their toolbar, the Home tab, the My Applications tab, the Student Forms tab, and the My History tab. Right below these tabs, the student may access their general demographic information. It is here where they can also edit their profile. This is also where the student can access their CSAC ID, which they can use to verify their identity to CSAC rather than having to use their SSN. Today, we have provided you with an initial peek at the Web Grants for Students webpage, including the registration page. We hope you have found this information helpful and informative. Thank you for taking the time to watch this training video provided by the California Student Aid Commission. Please contact us if you need further assistance or have additional questions about the Web Grants for Students webpage. You can reach us at the email address or phone number on this screen or by using the corresponding links found in the description box below.